What, what does ASR stand for? Remind me. Okay, it's worth talking about. It's an aqua for storage and recovery. So that's where you take water, regardless of where it's from. Typically, it's going to be from surface water. In this particular Darby Plain setting, they were talking about taking it from the upper floor, from the floor of an aquifer. That I just showed you in this presentation, there's no difference between surface water and the floor of an aquifer in the Darby Plain. That's all the same water. So you take that water, you treat it to some level, usually drinking water standards. That's going to involve some chlorine. That has problems. You inject it into an aquifer, either an empty one or a deeper one or some aquifer that ostensibly has room in it. You create what's called a lens of water in that aquifer. And you use it for a non-rainy day. That's what you're doing, is you're using the, an aquifer as an underground pool of storage. And this is done successfully in some places, unsuccessfully in a lot of places. Either unsuccessfully because of, of contamination that can occur in many, many ways, or because it just doesn't physically work um, and, the, and the investment has no return on it. Um, over half of the ones in Florida that have been tried wound up not working after a period of time. So it's a risky technology, but it's a storage technology. It's designed to increase carrying capacity in a particular local area. And the, the way it was, the way it is purported to be utilized in this 213 scheme is to develop an array of 150 such wells at an installation cost of between 900 million and 1.3 billion, their engineer's estimate, it would almost certainly exceed that. And if you do the math, if, you're, if you've got any farmer friends or you're a farmer and you do a math, the math on, on pumping in and pumping out to something, in this case, it would be upwards of 1,200 feet down into these lower sand aquifers. Um, it's about a billion dollar a day operations and maintenance. But to make that work. Um, so it's a huge technological scheme to put water in the creeks, keep people from using it so it can go to Florida to increase capacity in Atlanta. So that's what, that's what ASR is in that particular setting. The, the term ASR is used to, as a shorthand to describe other similar activities it's not actually in this hall. And the one that you're, you're going to hear the most about in the coming months, years, is going to be the Hilton Head and doing something they call ASR. It's not actually ASR, but it is the injection of surface water into the Florida aquifer. In that location, what's happened is, first of all, the Florida aquifer under Hilton Head is not nearly as huge as it is in most of Georgia. And in Hilton Head, they suck water pretty much out of it, and uh, the sea water has started to overtop it and come into it. And so they're getting salt water from the ocean coming in. And what they're doing with their ASR, which is not really ASR, but it's aquifer injection, they're putting what they call a curtain of water. They inject water at a higher pressure than the water that's coming in from the ocean to keep the ocean water out, like a curtain that keeps out sunlight. They're recharging the aquifer. And so they're recharging the edge of the aquifer to keep the salt water from ruining the wells that are downgrading, that are still functional, but are going to get contaminated with salt if they don't do it. Tybee Island in Georgia is another place where this could happen. And so there may very well be a proposal to do a curtain of water at Tybee Island. And there may or may not be justifications for this technology. There may be ways to do it that work better than others. An example of aquifer technology that is in use right now, even as we speak, in Georgia, there are power plants in the Savannah area that bring water up from the Florida Aquifer and use it to cool its condensers to power plants create a vacuum into which the turbines can exhaust, which gets their efficiency up to an economic level. That water is 
from the groundwater, so cold, real cold water coming out of the ground. Warm water is in a closed system. It doesn't leave that system. It comes out of the ground, stays in the pipe, cools off, the steam condenses it, and then it's sent right back down into the aquifer. It's warm. It's got calories on it. That's all it's got. There's no material that it got other than heat from the surface. And that's called a once through cooling. And that's a technically an aquifer injection. It's a withdrawal and an injection of basically the same site. But it doesn't change the character of the water except to make it warmer. And so that's all that's going on now. But the, what Gordon was talking about is big injection wells where they're going to put this massive water in the ground and then take it out later during a drought for use uh, when, it's, when there's no other source available. We fought that in the early aughts. There was a company that wanted to do it uh, in the, on the coast of the And they admitted that when they created what Gordon called the winds, the big bubble of the water that they pushed down under the ground, say, well, you're not going to own all the land that's above that land, are you? You're going to buy all that land? Well, no, you're going to buy the well site. But what about all the other people that own that land above that land? Are they going to be able to drill down and suck your water out when they want to under their right hand rights? Well, no, we can't do that. So you see, the property right interferes with these people's ability to make money. We've got to get rid of that property right to make this thing work. And this is going to happen over and over. The property right interferes with these plants. This, it, it's, it's right back to the, getting the county commission to condemn the Winter Browns place for a shopping center. It's the same damn thing. It's the use of state power to benefit one or two very well healed influential people at the expense of everybody else. It's literally fascist. Yeah. It's, uh, 